Could you survive? Don't leave. Watch and see how she escapes. The room was dimly lit, with a single flickering fluorescent bulb casting eerie shadows on the cracked walls. Rima's captors had taken her to an abandoned warehouse on the outskirts of the city. She was tied to a chair, her wrists chafing against the coarse rope. The notebook lay on a metal table in front of her, its pages now waterlogged and almost unreadable. Her heart sank as she watched the ink blur and run, the evidence she had risked so much for seemingly destroyed. The door creaked open, and a tall, imposing figure entered the room. His silhouette was sharp against the dim light, his presence commanding. He approached the table, picking up the notebook and flipping through the soggy pages with a sneer. The problem with rodents is that they think they are so clever. But look, everything they touch turns to ruin, haha. <laughs> he said, his voice smooth and taunting. Raima's eyes blazed with defiance. People will know, she spat. You can't hide the truth forever. The man chuckled, <laughs> his laughter cold and mirthless. The truth, he said, placing the notebook back on the table, is whatever we decide it is. He leaned in close, his breath hot against her face. And right now, the truth is, I am tired of you rodents breathing the same air as me. Before Rima could respond, another man entered, whispering something in the leader's ear. His expression darkened. He straightened up and turned to Rima, a sinister smile playing on his lips. And unfortunately for you, rat, it seems my superiors agree. Do us all a favor and stop breathing. He motioned to the man who had whispered to him. Exterminate this pest, he ordered. As the man advanced towards her, Rima's mind raced. She had to escape, but how? Just as she began to lose hope, the building shook violently, the sound of an explosion ripping through the silence. Things are really getting interesting, huh? It would mean a lot to us if you liked and shared the video. Click on the profile to see it and more of our engaging stories. And if you haven't already, make sure you've subscribed or followed. Trust us, you don't want to miss out on part three.